Okay, I'm going to show you guys how to set up Remy uh, basically from nothing. And in the case that you've never uploaded a model before, there will be timestamps uh, in the case that uh, you you know a couple of these steps already. Uh, but for now, we're just going to get started. So the first thing you want to do is log on to the VRChat website. So you're going to need a VRChat account. Um, and you want to go to the downloads tab on the left here. And you should see this screen. So the first thing you want to do is click on setting up the SDK. So I just hit middle mouse button to open it up another window. Um, and you can see all the scary information here. So I'm going to make all this simple for you. So what you want to do is right now, the current version of Unity that's supported is Unity 2019.4.31F1. Uh, so to find this, it's going to be on this page in the description of the video. I'm going to be linking this page here so you can immediately tell which version you need. And what we want to do is you want to basically go here and install the Unity Hub and it'll open up this window for you and you can just download the Unity Hub here. So once you've downloaded and installed Unity Hub, you can just open it up here and you need to install the correct Unity editor that we're going to be using. So to do that, you can go to installs, hit install editor, and then go to, in our case, you go to the archive and hit download archive. And now that you have the archives uh, page open, you can go to unity 2019.x. And then from here, you scroll all the way down to whatever Unity version you're using. Right now, again, we're using 2019.4.31f1. So what we want to do is we want to go to this green button that says Unity Hub. Just download it. And then at the top, it's going to open Unity Hub. And now you should see this window here. And if you see this window, that's good. Uh, if you plan on uploading for Quest, I would recommend clicking the Android Build Support, Android SDK, and the Open JDK. Click all of those and then hit Continue and accept the license and terms and then hit Install. And you can close this window out. So now it's just going to install uh, the Unity Hub version, or rather the Unity Editor version that you clicked. Okay, now that you have Unity Hub downloaded and opened, you can create a new project. So we're just going to create one here, I'm just going to call it uh, Remy, um, and you select 3D Core, that one's important. Um, and then you could just hit Create Project. This process here that we just did is going to be the exact same across uh, building for Quest and building for PC. Um, the only difference is going to be when we actually get into the project. So whichever platform you're building, for, building to, it doesn't matter. All right, now that uh, your Unity project is open, you're going to want to download and import the VRChat SDK. So you can do that by going onto their website under your download tab and hitting uh, the VRChat download button here for downloading the avatars SDK. And then once that's downloaded, you can go to the top of your, um, your window here, go assets, import package, custom package, and then find the SDK and import that. And once that's uh, done its initial import process, you could just select all, make sure everything is selected, and then hit import. All right, now that you've imported the SDK, you should see this window here. Um, and that means you've imported it properly. So now we can actually import the model itself. Um, so this is going to be where we split off between Quest and PC. This is going to be the PC portion. The Quest portion is going to be uh, time stamped in the description and also on the little bar in the bottom of your screen here. Now we're going to import the model herself. So to do that, you can just uh, download the correct model off of my Gumroad, assuming that you bought it from my Gumroad. Um, and you can go to assets, import package, custom package, and then find the model that you purchased. All right, now that the model has been imported uh, successfully, hopefully, uh, you should see this window here. If you do not, that means you have console errors. If you have console errors, you can just go to the bottom of your screen here where it says uh, console. Let me move myself out of the way a little bit where it says console here, and you can find the errors tab here, which is this third, this third uh, button. And if you have any errors here, you can go to my Discord, which will be linked in the description, and then you can uh, ask, for, ask for help there move myself back all right and now we can deal with these errors here so these will tell you if you've imported the shaders or not obviously i have not um 
the cool thing about this model is you don't have to import the shaders before you import the model. Um, however, I do recommend it. But for sake of demonstration, I didn't. Um, for here, so we can just click on Fix next to the Poyomi V8 shader, and you will see a window that looks like this. Uh, from here, you can download uh, 80295. Um, and then while that's downloading, we can go back where it says Moji shader. You can hit Fix again, and that's going to pull up another window, and we can download this version here. So once those two are finished downloading, you can go ahead and import them, assets, import package, custom package, and then find the, we're going to do Poyomi first. So we double click that to import and it's going to prepare it. And then you select all here and import again. All right. Now that the first shader has imported properly, we're going to import the second one, which is Mochi. So the same process and we will wait. So now that we've imported all of our packages successfully, we can hit open scene and it's going to go ahead and open the scene. Now that your scene is open, you are ready to upload. All you need to do is go to the control panel up here. So VRChat SDK show control panel, and you'll see this. What you need to do is you need to put in your VRChat.com um, credentials and you just log in here. Now that you've logged in here, you can go to the builder tab and you can hit auto fix on this little thing here. And now that uh, everything is open successfully, hopefully, um, you can click on the version you want. Uh, you just have to disable and then enable. Say we want this one, you just disable the first one and then enable it. And this window will refresh for you and you can just hit build and publish. And here hit no, this is intended for other models. I would probably recommend hitting yes, but there are some things in this model that require different lighting settings. So just hit no. And then you need to lock 30 materials. So this one's going to take some time. Um, there's no way around it. Uh, so just hit OK and wait. OK, now that it's uh, probably taken a little bit to get here, but now that it's here, uh, you can just type in the name for the model. I'm just going to put in Remy and you can hit the above information is accurate um, and make sure it's private. Thanks. Uh, and then hit upload and you're good to go. Okay, now we're going to go over the Quest version. Um, so basically what we need to do first is we need to change the build target of the project over to Android. So to do that, we go to File, Build Settings, and then where it says Android, click it and then hit Switch Platform. If you do not see the Switch Platform button, that means you don't have the Android build target uh, installed for this editor, in which case I would recommend rewatching the beginning of this video. Um, so now we can Switch Platform. Now that the uh, build target has been changed, we can import the model. So you can go to assets, import package and custom package, and you can find the version of the model that you want. So we're going to be importing the quest version here. So just double click on that. And once it prepares, you can do the same as you did with the SDK, hit all and then hit import. Okay, now that the model has imported, you should see this window here. Uh, if you do, that's great. If you don't, uh, that means you have some console errors, in which case you just need to go to the bottom tab here where it says console and then click on this here. And then you can join my Discord, which will be linked in the description and you can ask for help there. Um, but assuming all is well, you can hit open scene and now you can see the Quest version of the model. And now all you need to do is go to VRChat SDK and show control panel. And when you see this, you just need to log in with your credentials under authentication. And when you're logged in, you can go to the builder tab and then hit build and publish for Android. And once the project has built, you can type in Remy Quest, Remy Question apparently, Remy Quest, and then you can click this button and make sure it's private upload, please. Um, and then hit upload. And that's it. Uh, you've uploaded the avatar to your platform and you should be able to jump in it right away.